to Beautiful. This is Radhika. Welcome to my channel. Firstly, Happy New Year. It's 2023 and I feel like this year is going to be amazing. Today, I am going to be sharing with you guys the best of makeup of 2022. But this is going to be the drugstore affordable version. And the other part is going to be the luxury makeup, the expensive makeup that I loved in 2022. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some amazing, amazing affordable makeup that I tried out last year. And I feel like I was more into like affordable makeup towards the end part of the year and before like the first half i was trying a lot of luxury makeup so i have like quite a few favorites of mine from 2022 so i think let's quickly get started but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time i upload a video and now let's get started so i am gonna be going in an order so that i don't miss out anything i want to mention one moisturizer that i have used throughout the year i am talking about the pond super light gel this is such a beautiful moisturizer that just hydrates my skin or on like literally all the weathers i use only this particular moisturizer it is very lightweight it hydrates my skin it's very juicy makes my skin really plump as you can see and this is all I need to moisturize my skin before I go in with makeup because if my makeup has to look good I need to moisturize my skin and I love the texture I love the feeling it's so soft whenever I apply this moisturizer on my face it's like heavens I keep this in my makeup room whenever I'm doing my makeup for like a quick hydration but I have a bigger tub in my vanity in my bedroom which i use day and night i absolutely love this stuff now for primer honestly i did not really discover anything new last year i was still using my elf party primer i love this stuff i literally feel like no other more like primer beats this particular one it just fills in my pores calms my skin blows out my skin as well as it doesn't make it like super duper or uh, dry or anything of that sort it's very very cooling on the skin and i love the texture of this so this still was like my absolute favorite primer in the last year but the other one that i want to mention is this particular one this is the wet and wild impossible primer now this one is a silicone free primer now this one has a very unique texture it's very affordable firstly and it has this do you see that it looks like a silicone primer but honestly it's like a very cooling balm it melts into the skin and has a cooling effect and just fills in the pores really well so i've been loving this one as well but i like to use this only during the summer season i feel like in the winters it can cling to my dry patches so it's an amazing primer for like summer season so this was one that i found now a foundation i loved literally loved this particular one this is the nikas all day matte foundation this is for normal to combination skin now if you guys don't know i have an oily skin type so for me a foundation has to be like oil proof basically so this is a matte foundation now throughout the year i tried out a lot of foundations and in the last year i felt like there were a lot of luminous dewy foundations which i was using which was still looking good but you know it looked like i have applied something because i had oily skin so it ended up turning a little bit more on the oily side that's when i thought let me give this particular foundation a go because it was a matte foundation and i wanted to see if matte foundations suit me better and trust me i have realized that my skin looks best with a matte foundation not a luminous dewy foundation whatsoever this particular one is like a medium to full coverage foundation a little bit goes a long way it blends beautifully and my shade is nutmeg 09 it's such a beautiful foundation and it's so long wearing it does not make my skin oily it just lasts on me like literally 24 hours and my skin looks flaw less it looks so beautiful i love this foundation and i don't think i have a foundation that can beat this one at the moment like in the full coverage medium to full coverage category which gives me this very glam look and even lasts on my skin all day without looking cakey or anything of that sort this is such a beautiful foundation if you have oily skin 
try this foundation out you will thank me later it's a beautiful foundation and then the other foundation that i went back to in 2022 was my fit me foundation in the shade 228 this is the foundation that i am wearing on my skin right now i just feel like this foundation is like a no-brainer i wear it and it looks amazing again it has a soft matte finish and this is again a foundation that i can use on an everyday basis and is traceless to the naked eye i love this foundation again has a medium coverage looks beautiful on the skin yeah these two were like my ride or die foundations in 2022 now comes concealers now i felt like i tried out a bunch of different concealers in 2022 and i have a few favorites that have become like my ride or die concealers so firstly i have the Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. Now, this particular shade is Butterscotch. Now, I have tried out this concealer before as well, but they've never had my shade. And I always used to end, it, end up using a very light shade and it used to look really heavy, which I never liked. But I used to love the formula of this. So, I got the shade Butterscotch and Butterscotch is the exact shade for my skin tone. I am wearing it on my face right now. It's like a perfect match for me and it is a medium to full coverage concealer has a soft matte finish again and it lasts on my skin throughout the day i usually wear this concealer on its own as well and it looks beautiful flawless like the no makeup makeup days i love using this just to spot conceal and it's a beautiful medium to full coverage concealer as you can see i have used quite a lot actually this is my second tube i love this to bits the k beauty concealer is so good my shade is 140 y medium now this is again a medium coverage concealer and has a hydrating finish it doesn't have like a matte finish it has a hydrating finish and under the eyes this particular concealer looks so good and blends so beautifully the formula of this concealer is so beautiful again amazing amazing launch by k beauty i love this i travel with this this is like one of again one of my ride or die concealers it's so good and the third one i think this one you guys if you follow me you guys know that this is like one of my absolute favorite full coverage concealers this is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish and my shade is medium sand now again this is the exact same shade of my skin tone this is like full coverage and a little bit goes a long way and it covers everything and anything that i want to cover on my face spots dark circles I wear this concealer quite a lot on its own as well because it just gives me this very flawless smooth finish. You can try any of these three. They are very affordable and such good quality concealers. I think these beat my high-end concealers as well. I can say that for sure. I love these. I reach out to these more than my high-end ones. So that says a lot. Now let's move on to setting powders. Now I was very surprised by the way, I've, I've been doing my makeup in 2022. I was more of a natural, no makeup, makeup kind of look most of the days. So when that used to happen, I used to just apply a little bit of concealer, set it with some compact powder, which I've not done before ever. I was very surprised with the results because this particular compact powder is so good. I'm talking about the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Normal to Oily Skin. What is this called? pressed powder and my shade is 220 natural beige so as you can see this is what it looks like I honestly just take my brush swirl it in it and just set under my eyes and wherever i need it it's a very light translucent but has a little bit of coverage that covers and gives me a very like natural finish and it literally sets my makeup and my makeup does not crease throughout the day so this particular compact powder is really really good it's light it's everything that i need and i usually travel with it because it's very compact it's easy to use just swirl my brush i can set it reset it if i get a little bit oily it does not turn cakey so i loved this particular compact powder i didn't know i would love a compact powder honestly i used to hate the idea of compact powder but then somehow it turned out to be amazing very quick 
whenever I was like having less amount of time, I wanted everything to be done quickly. Compact powders were a savior, you guys, trust me. And then one setting powder that I discovered in 2022 was my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder in the shade Medium. Now, this has such a beautiful finish. It's very finely milled. It has a little bit of a natural glow. It does not seem heavy under the eyes. Just sets everything beautifully. My makeup does not crease. It's very light and looks very natural. It's very similar to my uh, K-Beauty's HD Loose Setting Powder, but I prefer this better because it has a little bit of a natural glow to it, which just makes my skin look very silky. I've been loving this ELF Halo Glow Setting Powder. If you guys haven't tried this out, I recommend this one totally because it's amazing. Of course, I'm going to be mentioning some cream liquid blushes because that's my thing and everyone loves it these days. So I am going to first mention this one. This is the Swiss Beauty Cream and Tint in the shade Cinnamon. If you find this one, you got to have this in your life because this is such a unique shade. It's like a cinnamon shade. Like you can see, it's like this nude pinky brown shade which looks so good so glamorous on the cheeks it's not that pinky blush that everyone is using or you know a lot of brands are actually making that cream blush in the pink shade but no brand has ever ever tried out a shade like this that nudie shade that i love i love warm browns warm pinky browns you guys know that and this looks so stunning it is so pigmented blends beautifully has an amazing formula and for the price this is a steal, you guys. Most of my high-end blushes, cream blushes also don't have this particular shade. This is a very unique shade that I have in my collection. So I love it to bits. Next, I have this Naftint by Naftun Beauty. That's what the brand's name is. This is like a natural... It says it's a sheer and cheeky, super ch cheek rose with beet tint. So it has rose and beet in it. It's a natural brush. And it is very liquidy in formula. So I'm going to be very careful because if it falls on me, I'm going to stain myself. So I'm just going to show it to you right here. Do you see that? And it's a very pigmented tint. Look at that. It is such a beautiful shade. It's that pinky shade which once you rub into your skin, it looks like a very natural flush to your cheeks. So when I'm doing no makeup whatsoever and I just want a little bit of flush to my cheeks, this is what I use. It's so blendable and it has a little bit of a moisturizing texture to it which makes your skin also glow. So I love this particular one. It's very, very good in quality. So, And you get a lot of it. I've literally used this every single day and I still have a lot left in this. You should definitely try it out. I will leave the handle right here. Since we're talking about blushes, let's talk about some of my favorite powder blushes from 2022. So firstly, I have this. This is the Makeup Revolutions Duo Blush and Highlighter in the shade Kindness. That's what it's called. So I wanted to mention this particular shade. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's again that nudie, soft, pinky brown toned blush. It doesn't have too much brown, but it has a lot of like that soft pink that I love. Look at that. It's like that warm, pinky, nudie blush and I love such shades. You guys know this. I don't use the highlighter much but I absolutely love this particular blush shade and that's the reason I wanted to mention this because I've used this so much. Let's apply some because I love the shade. It's so pigmented. So look at that. Just a little bit and you see that color, that beautiful, soft, pinky brown shade that I am all about. Just look at that. Wow. I, I, mm. Guys, if you are someone who loves these kind of blush shades, you need to try this one out. It's so, so good. The next blushes that I reached for a lot were these e.l.f. blush duos. Now, I have the shade Spice Apple, Lychee and Pomegranate and you guys can see the theme of the shades that I like in my blush. Now this one doesn't have too much pink. This is more of a warm toned blush shade. This particular shade as you can see. This one is the shade Spiced Apple. Again a beautiful beautiful shade and the formulas 
are amazing on this very pigmented very blendable very soft looking on the skin and of course the other side has the highlighter the highlighters on this particular duos are actually amazing so i end up using them as well they are pretty pigmented and pretty reflective as you can see then i have the shade lychee lychee is something that i use quite a lot again this has that warm pinky brown shade this is the nude shade very similar to the makeup revolution one but it has more of a pinky shade as you can see the highlighter is more on the pinky side again like pinky champagne highlighter on this one so like it's a perfect combination and then i have the shade pomegranate which is like a pop of pink which i love using when i want my blush to be more on the pinky side and again the highlighter is like the perfect complement for that blush shade now in 2022 i tried out a lot of cream bronzers but most of them were on the high end side i couldn't find anything which was on the affordable side i used to use like concealers my absolute favorite concealers in a darker shade but i feel like mentioning those does not make any sense to me so i'm going to mention powder bronzers that i found in 2022 and i'm so glad that i found some new bronzers you guys so firstly i want to talk about this particular one this one is the rimmel natural bronzer in the shade sunset this is what it looks like and this is something that i am wearing on my cheeks right now now this has a beautiful beautiful formula it's a very buildable formula so you can go heavy handed with it or you can go light handed with it however you like it if you want just a little bit of color on your cheeks you can just you know brush it on your cheeks and you can be done with that bronzy look that you want but if you want to go a little bit heavy and look more tan you can build it up it's a very good formula and the shade is also actually amazing for my skin tone it's like the perfect natural bronzer shade like it says it's a natural bronzer and it literally looks very natural on the skin so i loved i am actually loving this one currently then i also found this one from sugar this is contour their force mini bronzer in the shade woody wonder now this is the exact dupe for the hula bronzer from benefit it's the same shade it is that perfect mix of cool tone warm uh, cool tone and warm tone brown and this is what it looks like again it has a beautiful formula it is very buildable so you don't have to worry about you being a little heavy handed with this particular one because it's again very easy to use i love this one very forgiving and just gives me that shape and color that i want on my cheeks finally i loved this particular one this is the k beauty contour and highlight pro palette contour genius now it has three beautiful shades in it so i end up using this particular one just a little bit to contour like properly sculpt my face because these are like really pigmented i would like to show you all of these three these are like very very pigmented bronzer and contour shades so a little bit goes a long way so i have to be very light handed with this but the shade in the middle is like the perfect bronzer shade it has that warmth that i love using and applying on my face it gives me the sun kissed look as well as a chisel cheek chisel cheek and jawbone and everything chisel this is a beautiful palette i don't end up using this this is supposed to be more of a highlighting shade underneath but i this particular color is a little too dark for me so i end up using these two i feel like this is very travel friendly you can use these as eyeshadows as well and it does have a mirror for you to look at which is again another added plus one highlighter that i absolutely loved in 2022 was this particular one this is the nyx born to glow icy highlighter it has two different shades in it now this particular one is the actual highlighter it is that beautiful champagne pinky highlighter it has a little bit of warmth to it as well but has this very beautiful reflective glow to it like you can see and it's pretty intense so you have to be a little light-handed with this particular highlighter and the other side has this beautiful pink glitter 
Now this I love using on my eyelids to give it that pop to the eyes. Do you see that? It's such a beautiful pinky glitter and you guys know how much I love love glitter. So this one is like so pretty. So I've been loving this one and this was the only highlighter that I was actually obsessed with in 2022. Others were the same ones which I was using before. Now let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few that I want to share with you guys. Firstly I want to share this particular one. This is the Wet n Wild color. I can eyeshadow palette in the shade my glamour squad now you guys i don't know if you guys remember there were a lot of different shades in this particular range and this is the one that i have been obsessed with because look at it it's like the perfect eyeshadow firstly it retails for just rupees 500 for so many shades which have such a good quality so pigmented so blendable and have a black a dark brown a warm brown a warm orangey brown there is like a brick color then there is a gold there's a pink there's a champagne there's a copper there's a transition shade like this is the perfect palette you guys and every shade is super duper pigmented show it to you right here like ride or die palette right here look at that the swatch is amazing blendability of this eyeshadow palette is amazing the color story is amazing this is something that i reach out to so much whenever i want to do like even glam looks everyday looks anything of that sort if i want to do smoky looks this is the palette that i go for then another eyeshadow palette that i have reached out to a lot is this particular one this is the nikas color eye color palette i this i think this is called as a four a quad eyeshadow palette and it comes in a lot of different shades but this particular one in the shade night out has been my favorite because of course it has a black it has a dark brown and then it has this warm pinky brown shade which i love using all over my eyelids and then this beautiful gold shade now this particular palette is also so pigmented and so easy to use like you can do so many different looks with just these four eyeshadow shades right here next i have this particular palette this is a nyx ultimate shadow palette in the shade ultimate queen now like you can see there's a theme going on i love browns like smoky browns warm tone browns cool tone browns are something that i love and of course champagnes pinks then there are coppers there's a gold this is like the shades that i use for my everyday looks because they look amazing on me so again this is a very pigmented palette and this is what i'm wearing on my eyes right now whenever i want to do like matte looks this is the perfect palette because it has a lot of different browns it has a black it has so many shades that i can play with and then it has this bone shade which is very necessary for me to apply on my eyelids as you can see just to make it look wide awake but again a very pigmented very beautifully blendable palette it is a little bit more on the expensive side but you get a lot of shades which are of such high quality these palettes from NYX especially these like square palettes that they have have amazing eyeshadow quality I have another one which is like a colorful one which is again a very very pigmented blendable beautiful palette but this is the one that I use so much so yeah this is another favorite of mine which I loved and then finally I have one palette that I want to mention just because of the shades and the way they perform is this one again from wet or uh, wet and wild this is a color icon palette but this one is in the shade the shade is not written on this but i will definitely try and mention it in the description box so this has this beautiful beautiful glitter right here which is so stunning i just want to show you the glitter look at that glitter and you guys know how much I am obsessed with glitter apart from that glitter which is like the star of this palette is this particular shade which is like a silvery pinky shade which is again so metallic and so pigmented and of course the other shades that come in it like this particular one is like a beautiful transition shade this one is like the outer corner darker shade which 
helps in completing the entire look and giving you so many different options to play with you can just apply this glitter all over or you can apply this in the outer corner and then this on the eyelids it gives you that party eyes like this is such a versatile palette yeah i really wanted to mention this particular palette because i have enjoyed this so much in 2022 i just want to mention one mascara that i have used throughout 2022 so i am talking about any guesses i am talking about the maybelline's sky high mascara this Oh my god, firstly, I had heard about this mascara before it launched in India and a lot of people were raving about it but I was like, mm, yeah, maybe it's a good mascara but cannot beat my Lash Paradise from L'Oreal but when I tried this, girl, this mascara is so good. So, firstly, it is a waterproof mascara so it can be a little bit difficult to get rid of it but if you have like a oily cleansing oil or like a uh, cleansing balm or something of that sort it comes off very very easily so like i said it's waterproof so it does not flake it stays all day long it does not smudge and it gives me beautiful voluminous spidery lashes which i am all about i love voluminous lengthy looking clumpy lashes at least do two to three layers of this mascara and i get this false lash effect with this particular one so yeah this has literally become one of my absolute favorites i haven't touched my l'oreal lash paradise ever since i got this so that says a lot so yeah another hit from 2022 this video would not be complete if i did not mention eyeliners because 2022 i got back to doing my winged liners i felt like i was doing so many nude looks and i just wasn't putting the time in applying eyeliner but I realized that winged eyeliner is my thing and I look absolutely beautiful in winged eyeliner so I got back to it. So two products that I want to mention that made my eyeliner game super easy are not something like new or anything of that sort. They are pretty old but still do the job as good. I haven't found anything that has replaced these two eyeliners that I have. So firstly, I would like to mention the NYX Epic Ink Liner. So easy to use. This is what I have used to do my wing liner right now. It is not like a complete matte finish, but it's like super black and very precise and makes my wing liner application so easy. Like this is like godsend, you guys, because the tip of this particular eyeliner is so precise and the way it just glides on the eyes is like, something that I haven't found in any other one. Oh no, I got glitter on this, but yeah. Then the other one I want to mention is the Calabar Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is a matte eyeliner, you guys. It's very precise. As you can see, it is pretty precise. It's very black. Again, the tip is very easy to use, so I can do my wing liners easily, but since it's a liquid, it takes me just a little bit more time than my epic ink liner but when i want like a proper matte liner this is the one that i go for so these two are my ride or dies from 2022 now before i move on to the lipsticks that i've used the max in 2022 i want to mention the shade that i'm wearing right now i love this particular shade this is like the second time i'm wearing the shade but it is so beautiful so i would like to mention it so this is the shade this is the forever 52 x lena bhushan lip combo that she created so it comes with a lip liner which is this beautiful pinky brown lip liner right here and this is the liquid lipstick shade which i have applied right in the center so it gives me this pouty effect as you can see and has a beautiful formula very comfortable so i loved love the shade now let's talk about the two shades that i have used the most in 2022 firstly i think you might have guessed it already it is the elf liquid matte lipstick in the shade praline my god the amount of times i have used this shade is unbelievable it's my like my perfect new shade it is the perfect mix of pink and brown it is not warm whatsoever it's more on the cool tone pinky side so as you can see it has so much brown it has so much pink and it's just a beautiful dusky dusky pinky brown shade that is like my ride or die shade and the other one is very similar but it's a little bit lighter this is the verified liquid lipstick 
in the shade pink hot cocoa wow the shade is so beautiful again do you see that now this particular one has a little bit more of warmth to it as compared to praline but again this pink hot cocoa shade is so beautiful so beautiful on my lips what a beautiful shade now if you don't know verified is a brand by Anam who's a creator here as well on YouTube so definitely check it out because the formula is a bomb on this so yeah guys we are at the end of the video I have mentioned all of my makeup favorites from 2022 I hope you guys enjoyed it if you all did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also let me know what were your favorites from 2022 I would love to know them and if I am intrigued I will definitely try it out myself because I love love trying out new makeup so yeah i am gonna go now and i'll see y'all in my next video very very soon and then bye